Let's look at the assumptions of the simple linear regression model. In order to carry out statistical inference, we need to make a few assumptions about our model. So far we haven't made too many assumptions, simply just fitting a straight line through some points. We've assumed that this straight line relationship between y and x is a reasonable one. But to do any statistical inference, we need to make some assumptions about this random error component epsilon. The epsilon term is assumed to be a random variable that has a mean of zero, is normally distributed, has constant variance at every value of x, and we're going to call that variance sigma squared, and we sometimes say that the error terms are homoscedastic, meaning they have the same variance. Every observation has an error term associated with it, and those error terms are assumed to be independent. We sometimes say that the error terms are independent and identically distributed random variables. Every error term is normally distributed with a mean of zero and a variance of sigma squared. Since y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1x plus epsilon, these assumptions imply that for a given value of x, that y is distributed normally with a mean of beta naught plus beta 1 times x and a variance of sigma squared. Let's see what that looks like visually. Here I've plotted in the line beta naught plus beta 1 times x, which gives us the mean of y at any given value of x. And what we are assuming with this model is that the distribution of y is exactly the same at every value of x, other than the fact that the mean is changing. So down here at this value of x, the y values are normally distributed about that line. And at this value of x, the y values are normally distributed about that line. And at this value of x, the y's are normally distributed about that line. And the variance is the same at all of those different values of x as well. The only thing that is changing is the mean of y at these different values of x. And those different theoretical means of y are all falling on this line. And this is our assumed model. And these assumptions may or may not be true. And wherever possible in statistics, we should check to see whether our assumptions are reasonable. And we can check that here. These assumptions can be investigated with appropriate plots of the observed residuals. The residual for the ith individual in the sample is equal to the observed value of y for that individual minus the predicted value from the model. And we're going to use appropriate plots of those residuals to help us investigate the assumptions of our linear regression model. And I look at that in more detail in another video.